guys is your girl kind of from Passion for Fitness stopping by because we need to be out of denial. You, you, yes, you. No denial anymore about why you haven't been successful with your weight loss. We need to stop it. Stop it. Until you come out of denial, you will always be stuck with that weight on you that you want to get rid of. I have so many times, unfortunately, so many times people come to me frustrated, uh, upset with themselves, sometimes even upset with me because they're not seeing the weight loss they want to see. And I have to always talk them through it. And it's really talking through it. And once 99.9% .9 of the time, after talking through it, they realize they haven't been doing their part. You have to understand your trainer, your health and wellness professional who's helping you to lose weight probably are only with you between two to three hours out the whole week. The rest of the time, you're by yourself. You're making the decisions. We can't come and live with you unless you pay us. And I'm not sure if you're ready to pay that, right? So it's got to be on you. When we give you the resources and the tools, you have to use it. I cannot take you to the water, show you how to drink, but you refuse to drink. I know, right? Cliche, but you get my point. So don't get so frustrated. Take the emotions out of it. Weight loss is nothing but scientific. At the end of every day, you should have a deficiency in calorie intake. Know your numbers, talk to your trainer, talk to any health or wellness professional, or either you can go online and find your numbers out yourself to know how much you need to be intaking during the day to lose weight. Number two, when I give you a meal plan or either any trainer, the more you follow it, the more you will have success. Keep in mind, I know for me, and I'm sure many trainers, we use outside resources, software, uh, dietitian, nutritional people to give us meal plans, to help us with meal plans that is tailored to give you a balanced meal plan, which means we're giving you the right amount of carbs fats and proteins on that meal plan to get you where you need to be. Now, if you take my meal plan and you start adding stuff and, and taking things away, it distorts the numbers. And by distorting the numbers, you won't see the results that you could be seeing. So let's stay out of denial. Let's not get so emotional about it. Let's know your numbers, keep it very departmentalized. At the end of the day, these this is how many calories I should have eaten, period. Number two, especially my females, start being about you. When you start being about you, and yes, I'm going to say this, be a little bit selfish. Because one thing about us is that we always worry about everybody else. And we fail to take care of ourselves. And at the end of the day, when we do that, we're doing a disservice to our family. Because when you're not healthy, you feel horrible. You do, can't be as active with your kids if you want to. Mentally, spiritually, all that is drained because you're feeling bad. You're feeling bad about yourself, your weight gain. So take that time to do what you need to do to make you a better mother, daughter, friend, sister, all of them things. Be a little bit more selfish. Trust me, it is worth it. By doing this, it will make a huge difference. I leave you guys with that. Let's stop being in denial. Understand your trainer, your health and wellness professional that's helping you can only do so much. It's a partnership. If I give you the resources and tools and you don't use them, ah, who is that really that fault? Yeah, you, okay? So remember all of this, we're here to help you guys, but you have to do your part. You have to understand the most important thing is that when we give you an assignment, you stick to it as consistent as possible and you will see the results. It's simple as that. It's not emotional. It's, it's scientific. I like that. I like that. I got to go. I got to go. See you later, guys. Until next time, God bless.